Howdy folks, today I'm going to learn you a thing or two about a really easy latex scary look. So I'm just starting by um, making a, a wee eye eye makeup to go underneath the whole effect. Just a kind of ready, darky Halloween-y effect. And the liquid latex to do the mouth part is pretty simple. So I just use liquid latex, which you can buy for like 12 bucks a bottle, toilet paper, tissues, that's pretty much all I use, and some fake blood. So um, without further ado, putting on some liquid latex just all around the mouth, um, start layering up bits of toilet paper. The whole point is to get texture going, so you're just layering liquid latex and toilet, like stripped up toilet paper, um, into layering, layering each, starting to get more, more texture going. It starts hardening as you go. What else can I say? You just gotta do it how it feels, and then um, you can start. Using like little strips of cotton wool, you can just break up cotton wool balls. Um, so I've got a little beard thing going on there, you can see. And that again just builds up texture, so you can keep going, going more toilet paper, more cotton wool. Um, basically wherever you want your big scary fuck off mouth to go. So uh, it can get a bit sticky with the liquid latex. I'm just using a broken up sponge to put it on. But it's just definitely a case of do it where it feels good. Now I'm just putting like stripped bits of cotton to kind of emulate where teeth or stringy sign you might be. Um, and like overlayering it, which is why it's got a very stripy appearance at the moment. And uh, you'll see why when I start painting and stuff like that. So yeah, you just keep layering over till it feels good. Then you get out your paint. That's just a basic um, Makeup Revolution palette that I got from Farmers for like 10 bucks. And uh, yeah, starting to put in some depth in there, so that's what the black's doing. So it's kind of like mouth depth. Uh, and also just to kind of give a bit of a context for what's happening. Uh, then back to the liquid latex, um, putting on some more stuff just over the black. Uh, so again, just to start building more and more texture, so it's okay if it looks stripy at this point. No stress, no stress. You can fix everything with paint. Uh, just putting on some foundation, which I don't normally wear, but I wanted to look kind of pale and ghoulish. So I thought foundation might work. And you can just go around the sides of that liquid latex and just like cover up the edges there. Um, I've done a pretty rough job on this. Like it was my first ever go with liquid latex, so I wasn't expecting much and I was quite surprised at how well it turned out in the end. Um, the tutorial I followed, I'm going to link her in the post. She's amazing. Her name's Bailey. And um, yeah, just amazing tutorial. She's got a really cute cat that pops up in the video, which I kind of love. So I will link to her tutorial because this isn't like my personal uh, method for doing this look and I don't want to like not credit her. So um, yeah, this is, I just looked up like easy, scary Halloween sort of tutorial. Um, that wheel right there is a Kryolan color wheel. It's like a face paint. They bring out these sets called like death and bruise and stuff like that and the idea is that you use them for special effects makeup. Um, this is my first time cracking one of those open so again I just thought I'd do like a wee under eye because I really don't know what the fuck I'm doing with those so um, I'd like to have a better play with those in the future. So I'm gonna have to probably do a video where I like try and bruise my face up. Um, so now just, yeah, going in with some of like the bloody, the deep, dark, rusty looking um, blood colour from one of those colour wheels. Just to give a bit more of a gross, like visceral texture. Um, that concealer I used before really like helped bring it from like a, a fake white look to like a bit more of a sinew skin look. This is just um, liquid latex mixed with some fake blood. Again, the fake blood was like 10 bucks from Beauty Bliss, just part of the Halloween. Um, the point of this is you get a bit more of the bright redness so it looks like fresh blood as opposed to the like murky brown like dry blood look that I've put on the underneath. I think the whole point for this look really is to understand that you're like layering up different textures and you want it to look very like visceral and like gross rotting inside of a body. So the more you can do in that respect the better. So here I'm just going back in with that face paint, the black stuff, just to give like a little bit more depth in. Again, I don't really know what I'm doing, I'm just having a crack, man. Give me a break. Love Yoi! Thank Yoi for watching!